well, we had a large pine tree and the storm took it out, basically uprooted it. You see the roots that are left right onto the house and we lost the front end of the house is basically crushed right now. This is the tough bit, the aftermath of the storm as the people of the Ottawa Gatineau region clear fallen trees, debris and assess damage to homes after a devastating Saturday storm. This neighborhood in the suburb of Nepean without power since Saturday. I have a generator and so we run the generator an hour every five or six hours. Just enough to get our fridges cold and uh, our freezer and uh, coffee in the morning and uh, toast and uh, so it, it's, it's a, it's, we juggled it around every once in a while. Just a few hundred meters away this man's neighbors pitching in to help clear another tree brought down by the storm. We were sitting in the basement nicely sheltered and then when we came out this tree had fallen onto, uh, onto the top of our roof. The damage here minimal save for a crushed gutter and Muskoka chair. The same couldn't be said in the city's east, where hydro crews have been called in from out of town and out of province. You know, this a lot of the system was built in the 1950s. It served us really, really well, but there are new technologies uh, available to us today. And uh, as things come due for renewal, uh, that becomes part of our investment plan. As you can see behind me, crews are still working to restore this transmission tower, one of the lines that supplies power to the city of Ottawa. Hydro One officials say it's a big job that could take days. We are working from the outside in at this point uh, to get things uh, back online. We do anticipate it's going to be uh, several days, uh, but you know because this is all regionally based, and as I noted, half a million customers uh, restored to date. Uh, we'll have more information as uh, as we continue to evaluate in the in, in the coming days. So Hydro One services rural customers while also supplying power to Hydro Ottawa. Hydro Ottawa itself still has around 74,000 people without power, a process so laborious that the utilities outage map is no longer being updated. Mayor Jim Watson says everyone's aware of the urgent need to restore service. Well, people are. Uh, dealing with some real challenges, whether they're medical challenges with oxygen and CPAP machines and so on. Uh, and of course, uh, refrigerators have to be emptied because of the, the spoilage of, of food. Back in Nepean, though frustrated at the lack of updates, residents looking at things in perspective. We're faring okay, uh, so to speak, without power, and we just are spoiled with power. We, we could be worse off by being in the Ukraine. Uh, we're fortunate from that point of view. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.